What's up everybody, Coach Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Valve video, and in this video we're going to be breaking down the new overpowered agent in patch 1.15, and no, I'm not talking about Yoru, I'm going to be doing an in-depth breakdown and guide on that character in the future, so look out for that and smash the like and subscribe, but this is actually talking about a character that got super substantial buffs for patch 1.15, and none other than Brimstone, who is primed to be the new S tier most picked agent so we're gonna break down all of his changes and give you actionable tips that you could use in your games so that you can master this top tier future agent but if you want to actually climb the ranks of Valorant our Game Leap website has a money-back guarantee and unlike other competitors that put YouTube content behind a paywall or make you pay additional fees if you already buy the subscription we have tons and tons of daily content put up on the Game Leap website specifically designed to help you improve so do yourself a favor go check it out in the links down below but without further ado let's jump into the video now talking about brimstone because omen receives some pretty substantial nerfs omen is probably going to be the de facto best controller for the foreseeable future because of all the buffs listed now we're going to go over each ability talk about the changes and give you some tips to use these abilities better for more guaranteed impact in your games now first off let's talk about the incendiary which everyone of course just calls freaking molly and the price got decreased from 300 credits to 200 which is definitely going to matter in a lot of different scenarios i mean it's just better for your economy and in that pistol round it's gonna allow you to buy two smokes plus your molly plus have armor with your classic pistol which means you have good aggressive power while still having a giant amount of utility at your disposal now molly has an 8.3 second duration and does a ton of damage basically meaning that enemies cannot stand in it for any substantial amount of time now that being said, if you combine the actual duration, the 8.3 second duration of the molly, plus you yourself stopping the defuse, that could potentially be over 10 seconds of stalling, which puts the enemy in a really, really terrible scenario where they just don't have enough time to defuse a spike and they don't know it ahead of time. So maybe they're playing far too slow to play to actually winning the round because of your incendiary or your molly. Now that being said, a lot of people actually do this wrong. And let me tell you exactly what you need to be doing every single time. If you're set up in a position and you know the actual rollout to get the molly on the spike this is what you do you wait for enemies to tap the spike and you shoot your molly out now you do not peek it right away you wait for the molly to end that 8.3 second duration and then what you're going to do is you're going to actually jiggle the spike now you're not full peeking because you do not want to get headshot here you don't want the molly to fade and then the enemy to actually just headshot you instantly so you're going to jiggle peek and see if they're on the spike or not if they're not on the spike then you could basically hide and wait for them to actually tap for the diffuse which gives you more information and gives them less potential time but if they are on the the spike then you're gonna re-peak and challenge that exact same angle and typically you can have your crosshair placement already on them and you can even pre-fire that angle so you give yourself the maximum amount of time you actually potentially bait out a potential fake tap and most of the time even if the enemies manage to kill you where you made it pretty difficult right but even if they do they will not have enough time to defuse and you'll most likely just win the round outright then we'll go to the next ability that we got to talk about we got to talk about the stem beacon that got to change where now it quit cast where you do not have to equip the object and throw it you press the button and it already throws now that being said stim beacon is 100 credits and it's going to increase your fire rate by 15 percent now of course stim beacon is going to be better with some weapons and a lot worse with others the thing about increasing your fire rate is with a lot of ars the high level players or playing correctly would be a lot of bursting and tapping rather than spraying like crazy so you need to either one change the way you're using these weapons when you are in stem beacon or two don't really use them or plan to use them with weapons like ars and instead use them with things like lmgs and smgs that really benefit from that increase of fire rate take something like a frenzy for instance or a stinger upping the fire rate of these weapons from close range can really increase your time to kill which is absolutely amazing and just in general with other ars like the phantom and the vandal having an increased fire rate is going to make running and gunning from mid to close range a little bit better and it's also going to make wall banging a lot easier especially as a team so these are important things to keep in mind and important uses 
for specifically stim beacon which a lot of people struggle to get definitive value out of now moving on to the next big change on brimstone and the change that is most likely going to put brimstone at the top of the tier list because this just makes him the best controller in my personal opinion and i think he's going to be really powerful for future metas first off his range got increased from 4200 to 5000 which is going to be much more similar to omen's range and one of the things about omen's range from before is that you could use the smokes defensively to help people on sides of the map that you are not currently positioned at so for instance you're playing mid and someone rushes c defensively you could put a smoke at the choke point of c so that enemies have a lot more pressure when pushing onto site because they're going to push onto site blind and that's something that you could do a lot more reliably on omen and very unreliably on brimstone because of the decrease in range but with this it's going to be a lot easier and brimstone as a whole is just going to be better on defense now now the big change that being said is now his smokes last from 14.9 seconds to 19.25 seconds which is really a big increase in the smoke duration now this is going to be absolutely amazing because a very long smoke gives you more time to make a play rotate around cut off information execute an attack where the smoke isn't going to fade midway through your attack when you smoke something like heaven or whatever the case may be having longer smokes is just better period the longer the smoke lasts the better and more effective the smoke will become now this puts brim Brimstone smoke with the longest lasting smokes besides Viper technically, but that's a little bit different because those aren't targeted smokes and I think there's a big flaw in Viper's kit. So we're really not going to talk about that, but for targeted smokes that you could put exactly where you want to, to challenge power angles from a distance, Sky Smoke is just going to be absolutely amazing. Now, that being said, unlike Omen Smoke, and this is one of the big differentiating factors between Brimstone and Omen, is the fact that not only does Sky Smoke cost money, but you only get three in a given round where omen gets two but he has them on a cooldown he doesn't have to be any bit conservative with the smokes when brimstone really does you can't just waste brimstone smokes to put pressure randomly because you need those smokes from later on for instance a lot of times on attack if you're playing omen you could randomly smoke like a cross sight line where you're crossing on haven across a you want to maybe fake a uh, push up or whatever maybe you're planning on executing c but you just want to cut off information and you prevent enemies from rotating that much quicker but if you do that on brimstone you're not going to get that smoke back because you can always just wait the time out and get your smokes back with omen but with brimstone maybe you could do that with one but you can never do that multiple times throughout a round and even if you do you're not going to have those smokes for later so it really actually fundamentally changes how you use it now let's move on to a scenario like on defense where let's say you're smoking off mid window a lot of the times on omen just randomly when you're playing haven we're going back to the haven example where you smoke off that mid window and you push up and challenge grass with the cross from garage well a lot of omens will put that smoke there even if they're not planning to push up because the opportunity cost is non-existent but for brimstone if you're not specifically pushing up you probably don't want to do it every single time because a lot of times you need those smokes for retakes and you don't want to just waste them for free essentially i would say one smoke is your wiggle room but even then a lot of times it's better to sandbag it if you can unless you're trying to use your smokes to make a play or get some value as a mix-up so definitely keep that in mind and always err on the side of conservation especially from you omen players that really really are used to just throwing your smokes out like crazy you cannot do this on brimstone in the same way now we're going to the next ability that we got to talk about it's orbital strike which takes you seven points to get your orbital strike and there's a lot of uses for this but a lot of people just just use orbital strike and get absolutely no value now the way that you're going to be using orbital strike probably the most is to force enemies out of a space and put enemies between the rock and the hard place for instance let's say enemies are at the front of hookah right you know they're there you know they're at the front of hookah now if you actually orbital strike in a way where they have to jump out of hookah and then you challenge it they are put in that rock in a hard place where they have to jump out but when they're jumping and falling you're just going to be able to kill them very easily and they can't possibly run back because you have them at the edge of the orbital strike you essentially force them to the area that you want them to be and then you take a duel with them or you engage a play with them as a team so that they basically just die or they have no good options now other more actionable ways to use orbital strike is to for instance counter a plant or diffuse which is 
just amazing and combined with the molly tactics that we talked about before can just be a way that enemies just can't possibly defuse the spike and it can be very very frustrating for them you can destroy a killjoy's lockdown which is one of the best ultimates in the game right now and having a counter to that is definitely worth it no doubt you can also counter things like res if you track where the enemies died and you know where they are so you can ult it right when the res goes off and sometimes you can even get a double kill in the process and you can always combo orbital strike with things like silver recon or neuro theft so there's so many different uses for orbital strike don't sleep on this ultimate it's one of the best ultimates in the game now that being said let's talk about some big mistakes that a lot of players are making on brimstone that's really holding them back the first one is dying early you need to be a baiter on brimstone you cannot afford to die early unless you exhausted all your smokes and your utility because brimstone really needs those smokes let's say you're pushing a site right and you get some trades and some of the enemy die and you want to rotate to another side of the map having your smokes can make that so much easier but if you die in that initial scuffle then you're not going to have those smokes for later on and that's really really important for you to understand if you die in any team fight or if you die early to an operator you can put your team in a really really unwilling winnable situation so that's very important make sure that you are not aggressively taking duels make sure you are not dying first in fact you should be one of the last characters to die every single time now the next thing that you need to be doing on brimstone is talk with your team about what you're smoking you can ping it you can say it i'm gonna smoke here i'm gonna smoke here so that your team know exactly what you are smoking so they know what angles that you are planning on blocking off before you even do it and then the third thing the biggest thing in my personal opinion that will have the highest impact on brimstone is take a proactive role in comms there's a reason that actually controller players are consistently in game leader for teams and it's because brimstone and omen and using smokes in general really have to do a large part with the macro strategy if you're pushing on the point what angles you're smoking off what angles you're challenging as a team all that relies on where you smoke and smoking is one of the most fundamental aspects of that so if you are active in comms it's going to be way better for how clean your executions go your teammates aren't going to peak smoke sidelines before your smokes go up they're going to know what smoked off they're going to know what the plan is it's just going to be way better for you in general and if you want to make sure that you have even more impact other than just playing this intrinsically powerful role make sure that you take on that leader role in comms on brimstone i promise it's gonna pay off dividends for you not only in your games but down the line in general whether you play scrims or anything like that but go to the game leap website in the links down below where we have high quality guides and we always take feedback and criticism to make sure that we give you the best guaranteed content and we're always adapting our content to improve so that you can improve and climb the lengths of valor with ease but thank you so much for coming by that's all i got for you today i'm coach mills i love your faces and i'll see you tomorrow